Hey, hello to you. Welcome to the Key Team. And guess what? We are having an amazing meal preparation for today. We are talking about growth. And we are not just talking about growth when it comes to doing it in a certain time when you are happy, when you are exposed to the money or whatever. We are telling you about growth and in this manner, continue to grow. Welcome to the kitchen and my name is Sam Alfred Massacre. Today we are talking about continuing to grow even if the value of growth is depreciating where you are, in what you do, in those things you are aspiring to have, in what you are doing right now, even if the value of growth is depreciating, please continue to grow. Can I say this to you in the kitchen? Refuse to be worthless, even if it is associated with the trend, even if it is associated with authority, even if it is associated with immunity. That means benefits. That's why we must make, all of us must make continuous efforts to appreciate God's knowledge, accept it, and preserve his concept concerning relationship. I want us to continuously grow in the context of relationship. Can I pause as we talk and just take a stroll in Mark chapter 10? It was said that as it was his custom, Jesus began to teach as the crowd gather around him. Can I say this to you? As it was his custom, that means as it was his way of life, his behavior, his attitude, he addressed the cry in the crowd. He addressed the cry in the crowd. Why am I saying this to you? You have a cry in your life that needs to be addressed. But the only way you can address this is by understanding your way of life. It's by readdressing your way of life, your behavior pattern, your attitude. Because that is why growth speaks of. Can I go further? and say this to you, the intent of growth is to walk in a way of life, like I said, that express your behavior, your attitude, <laughs> that is specifically related to how you are growing. So how you are growing, it does matters. How you are growing, whether you are growing wrongly or rightly, it does matter. Because how you grow is going to be reflected in your way of life that is going to help you to address the too many noise, the too many pains that are in your ears concerning how you should not do it right in relationship. Let me say this to you. There will always be, always be a crowd around you, suggesting to you, expecting from you, intimidating you, and also tempting you to be double-minded, maybe look warm in dealing with what they are struggling with, but they have just accepted to settle in <laughs> as their way of life. People. Let me say you, I don't want to say people, I just want to be specific. You please avoid being selective when it comes to growth in the areas that are only profitable. Maybe I, I want to grow in uh, my business only, I want to grow in my career only, but you are avoiding the relationship aspect when it comes to you. You are just a terrible person. Why? Because those areas reflect profit when it comes to your bank account or you being popular. My intent, let me say this to you, my intent is to address your custom. When I say custom, your way of life, you 
are preserving. You know, there are times we preserve certain things, we defend certain things, we debate about certain things because our hearts have been hardened before. <laughs> How can we deal with the hardness of your heart so that you can continuously grow and stop defending what is not right? Stop debating about what is not right. Don't allow the idea that you've been a victim before to overcome the victory in you. There is a victory in you. You are a victor, but don't allow that idea that you were once a victim before to overcome you. Don't allow that. You were once transparent in your past relationship, but that person did not appreciate you being transparent. So therefore, you are no longer transparent. I want to address that aspect of your life that has become a way of life. Now the question is, how can you grow? I know that is the biggest question you want to ask now. How do you grow in this area again? How can all of us grow in this area again? Firstly, you have to recognize that this is not your spot. This is not your spot. You know, growing up, we had our spot where at times we would go to eat our cook bowl, our street food. This is not your spot, not being transparent, not being honest. This is not your spot. And secondly, you have a spot on your heart. You have to admit to that first. Now let's introduce the word or place. This is how we deal with that this is not your spot and that you have a spot on your heart, my friend. Let's deal with the word called place. You see, when we talk about place, we are just talking about the presence of God. And the presence of God doesn't, uh, it does not just affect your heart or it's not just concerned about your heart when i talk about heart i'm just talking about your looks your glow <laughs> but rather it affects your heart h-e-a-r-t positively positively are you just concerned i'm asking you are you just concerned about how you look and not what you are lacking you are lacking being honest being transparent, being fruitful, being productive again in relationship, but you're just concerned about how you look? No, we have to be concerned about what we lack. What has occupied your heart and has taken the space of being genuine, confident, respectful, honest, and transparent needs to be offloaded. We have to offload those things. <laughs> We have to offload those things. Can you say hallelujah for me? Yeah, we have to offload those things by the help of the helper, the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the counselor, and the truth. As we conclude, let me say this to you. Samuel did not grow by only being around the place of growth. No, there are times we are just too casual about growth. You just want to come and spy around the terrain of growth. You would not grow like that. We have to position ourselves in God's posture as we grow. Position yourself in God's posture as you grow, as we grow. It is very much important. Let us continue to grow even if the value of growth is depreciating, where in the presence of God, which is God's posture. Thank you. The name is Sam Alfred Massacre, and this is The Kitchen. <laughs>